All right, we're back. Parchment's in. We're making a day. That's right. Nachos. Survival nachos. Yeah, it's a full bag. I got reserves. Oh, shit. Wreck that bag. All right. So this is a little different than I normally do. Normally I uh, make my nachos in my oven under the broiler, but yeah, I'm not sure how to do that through the magic of television, so we're going to make it with a toaster oven. And yeah, they're getting laid out individually. That's how you make nachos. Kind of heathen just throws chips on a plate. You definitely don't make them in the microwave. If you're, if you're making your nachos in the microwave, I'm going to tell you something here. You're doing it wrong. I used to do it wrong. I saw the light. I had a, a relative. We won't name names to protect the innocent, but I had a relative who told me to stop eating microwave nachos. <laughs> I'm sure they know who they are. They live in Texas. And it was great advice. fill some of these little gaps in. We're going to put some cheese on this, this here operation. Right in there. That's why I'm laying flat though. Come on, cooperate. Yeah, you might have to make a couple batches. Because that, I mean, that's not a portion. That's like a half portion. Set the chips aside. What do we got for cheese on this? Luckily, we got some shredded still. The old Kobe Jack, shredded Kobe Monterey Jack cheese. I'm not sure if that's the right cheese for nachos, but guess what? During a pandemic, you use the cheese you got on hand. Put a little sprinkle here, a little sprinkly dinkly there. Don't want to go overboard, but you don't want to go underboard. So, I don't have all the ingredients here to make proper, proper, proper nacho. But, I like to make what's sometimes referred to as, oh, what we call them, atomic nachos. What atomic nachos are is when you leave all the toppings off. You don't put the toppings on the nachos. Because they're just going to fall all over the place and get crazy anyways. So atomic nachos is all the ingredients are on the side. And you add them as you eat them. Well, all I got salsa and sour cream and taco meat. So like, what's the point? So whatever. So here we go. We're going to go broil. Broil. You know what we're going to do? We're going to cook it with the door open. You know why? Because that's how you broil. You don't close the door when you broil. I mean, come on, people. Oop, got to move that light for a second. All right, why well, that's, that's... You know what we can do? What if I can move this rack up? Hold on a second. Nah, let's we'll just leave it like that. I'm going to throw... Microwave the old hamburger meat from the other night. I know microwave is an evil, evil creation, but sometimes creations need to be evil. Got the daisy. Ooh, that's getting low. Got the pace. I mean, what else do I got in here? I mean, I got... I can shred some lettuce, but I don't see the point. Uh, yeah, that's it. It's my sad, sad nacho pile. It's warming up in there. It's warming up. Hamburger meat is boiling. We're going to need a hot pad. Or a trivet. We'll use that for our trivet. Uh, what else are we going to need? We're going to need some sort of a spoon rest. What do we use for a spoon rest? Oops. Making a mess. That could be our spoon rest. 
couple of spoons. Spoon, spoon. Get the taco meat out. Oh, it's frizzle frazzling. That is frizzle frazzling. Get the old stirry stir stir. That's looking decent. Here, dog. A little burger meat. Yum, 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 yum. Alright. Uh, yeah, it's starting to melt a little bit. You got an angle on that? You can kind of see in there a little bit. Is it hot? Oh, it's hot! Just kidding. <laughs> Psych! Alright. It's looking pretty good. That cheese is slowly starting to melt. Put the light back over here. So, where are we? Uh, global pandemic, viral COVID-19, slash 20, slash 21, I, I don't even know at this point. Uh, someone said that you can't buy seeds in Michigan, but you can have them delivered. I don't even know what's happening. I don't even know what's going on. Seeds? Like, what if you eat, like, bird seed? Or, like, sunflower seeds? Can you eat, I mean, food? I don't even know. Could you grow your own food? Are they, they going to outlaw that? How about nachos? Are nachos allowed? Are those essential? If they take my nachos away, I think I'm going to be upset. If they take nachos away, I'm moving into the basement and I'm putting tinfoil on my head. And I'm just going to listen to audiobooks. That's all I'm going to do. But until then, as long as nachos are good, no tinfoil, main floor. Still doing audiobooks, but stay out of the basement. If you don't have a basement, you might have to start digging a hole. <laughs> Dig a pond. Save the save some tadpoles. Dig a pond. That's a plan. Right, you, you get an eye on this cheese. That's that's that cheese is melting. I need like a little like a uh, hot pad thing here so I don't burn my little fingies. I'm gonna burn my fingies. Where do I keep my hot pads? Uh, I'll get a big hot pad. Just go with like a. I'll use this. I'll use I'll use a neon pink towel. That'll protect our fingies, won't it? Oh yeah, so that's starting to melt. So we can add said burger meat. Let that incorporate. So we don't want to be crazy with this. I mean, we might have to make a couple, a couple batches of. Uh, ooh, okay, I hope my head gets right in the way. Watch, kids. Watch as I uh, put the burger meat on. <laughs> My bad. The production levels aren't quite to the point where they need to be. They're getting there. We're working on it. I have a meeting with my producer later to discuss potential options for. I, I, I only have a producer. I don't know what I'm talking about. All right. Is that enough? I mean, that's how much I got. This is how much I have. Uh. Let's go with that. Let's go. Let's go with that. Let's go with that. Let's go with that. Let's go with that. All right. I'm gonna set this aside. There's only so much room on the old cutting area. Just let that go a little longer. All right. This. Do I need a spoon for that? Yeah. I better get a spoon for that. I a long-handled spoon or something. I only have. Oh, look at that. Long-handled. All right. So we're going to use a technique on the sour cream that may be well known, wait, maybe not well known, I don't know. I mean, how well known are your techniques? Alright. Doggy? You like nachos? Can you see the doggy's face right here? Come here, doggy. There's a dog nose. There's a dog tongue. Yeah, she likes nachos. Alright, I'm calling that good. An angel got its wings. Alright, here we go. See if I can burn my fingers off. So that's that. This is this. Put some sour cream on there. So the technique we're going to employ on the sour cream, which may maybe known, maybe not known, is with a spoon. But you don't scoop the sour cream. You flip the spoon over, and you pull a dollop like that. See that? It's on the back of the spoon. And then you do a flick. So it's a, a scoop and a flick. A scoop 
back spoon and a flick 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 Ben a flick Ben a flick Goodwill hunting Ben a flick <laughs> Oh whatever Don't listen to me do what you want but that's that's how I've learned how to get small portions of sour cream to go in a properly dispersed I mean you might have to practice a little bit maybe, maybe you'll get it the first try I don't know took me four tries five tries I don't even remember All right we're calling that good mixy mix mix I mean black olives would be good on here jalapenos I actually might have some jalapenos no, I'm not eating those jalapenos. Oh, barely makes it in. Oh, wait, gotta get the on camera again. The spoon doesn't fit. Just kidding. This one, because the spoon is the shape that it is, we're just gonna do the, the right to left shakety shake, shakety shake, shake, shake. See how that's plop, plippity plopping off? You don't wanna be drowning in salsa, you just wanna taste the salsa. I mean, my salsa makes all the pretty girls dance. That's another rap rap lyric. <laughs> Eminem. Oh, man. Never mind, kids. Don't listen to rap. Is that enough? My salsa! There it is. I think that's... We're calling that? We're calling that! What do we got to drink today? Um... I know. Trying to survive the pandemic. Take it back to basics. Glass of water. Yeah. I don't drink soda all the time. It's like the only beverage I drink. Yeah, see? Water. Let's give one of these a go. Ooh, look at that. Where's the camera? Tell you what, that's natural rivet. Another. Mhm. 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 Oh yeah. That is what I'm talking about right there. Do I get one of nacho? Here, let's do a dark nacho. Well, you can't have that one. That one's too big. Is that good for a dog? Dogs can't have onions. I don't know how to get you in the camera shop. Turn the camera a little bit here. Here we go. There you go, dog. You have a nacho. Whatever. Dog's got to survive too. Cat, one nacho? Cat sleeping under a blanket. All right. It's still kind of hot. There's your na nachos. Stay safe, kids. Do your homework. Organize a drawer. Go through your closet. Rearrange your silverware drawer. Count your silverware. Find your missing silverware. Clean out a cabinet. Do something positive. You got this.